Good day everyone, this is Chris with the Ancient Scholar. So today I wanted to review something real quick. I actually just received this uh, on my email uh, here at the gym. I thought, well, I really needed to get this information out. It's actually kind of important. Uh, it's rather controversial. It, it, it follows a rather controversial topic, and in, in that the topic is um, a medication known as Zygris, uh, Zygris, however you want to announce that. It is uh, one of the uh, the only uh, approved FDA approved medications for the treatment of severe sepsis, septic shock. It was rather controversial when it was uh, first um, approved about 10 years ago. Um, the, there was a pivotal study that, uh, that showed the improved uh, morbidity and mortality in patients that were treated with Zygris uh, versus placebo groups. Uh, in fact, um, when the FDA initially approved it, it was like a 20 to 20 decision, so uh, a really close decision, and they ended up approving it, however, and we've been using it. Uh, uh, so a Zygris is, uh, is a recombinant human, uh, it's a recombinant form of human activated protein C. It's thought to have some interesting medi uh, mediating uh, properties and uh, uh, help patients in septic shock, and sepsis, severe sepsis uh, particularly. Uh, however, a new study uh, the results of a new study recently been published. This is uh, uh, the the original study. Actually, um, was known as a prowess study. Um, the protein C worldwide eval in severe sepsis. Um, that was a study that showed there there that uh, that showed there was promise uh, for using Zegris, and that's what got it, it, Zegris its initial approval. Uh, however, there's a new study out called the uh, prowess shock study. And it looked at 28-day mortal um, morbidity rates, uh, morbidity morta uh, mortality rates actually of, of patients severe sepsis, sepsis and shock, and uh, it showed uh, they, they had um, see mortality in 26.4 percent of uh, patients treated with Zegris. Okay, so 26.4 percent of the patients that were treated ended up dying, uh, versus a mortality of 24.2 percent. In patients that were, were the part of the placebo group, these patients were not treated. So um, there is uh, some statistical significance there, and, and the significance is that uh, Zegris doesn't appear to be effective at all. Uh, so uh, as of today, as of well, maybe not necessarily today, but this is actually when I received um, the email uh, from Medscape about this. Um, the FDA Food and Drug Administration and the EMA, the European uh, Medical Association. Um, will be removing uh, Zegris uh, from the formularies, um, and uh, the company that uh, produces Zegris, uh, Eli Lilly, is um, no longer going to be making the drug, or no, uh, they're removing the drug um, from the market. Uh, so some pretty uh, interesting developments there in uh, the treatment of septic, uh, sepsis and septic shock. Uh, so hopefully you guys uh, f found that revealing and uh, you know spread the word if you guys use uh, this medication and you weren't aware of this new development. Uh, as always, hang in there.